Over my right shoulder is my brain, and it's incredibly big because I'm so smart. But more importantly, um, in the center of it, there's a big hole, and that hole represents the tumor uh, that was taking up space. Now, that would grow very, as Dr. Freelander said, it would grow very, very slowly each year. About five years ago, four years ago, I started getting really tired about midday, but no other symptoms, and I couldn't figure it out. And I went to doctors after doctors, and um, a variety of different diagnoses from Lyme's disease to you're too heavy to you got to exercise to all kinds of stuff, and I did all those things. Um, but I progressively got worse and worse. Two weeks, three weeks ago, um, I lost my vision for about 25 minutes. Called my doctor, he said, you got to go to the hospital right away. I got four opinions. Three of the four recommended Dr. Freelander. One, we used image guidance to really target to that general uh, area. And two, we also did the high definition fiber tractography, which are the images that we have back there that really demonstrated the relationship between the tumor and all the important structures and the function in the brain. But was really understanding with the tractography exactly where those fibers were was very, very helpful to know ex how to approach the lesion. He recovered very, very well, was in the intensive care unit overnight, then one more day in the hospital. So within 48 hours after surgery, he was out and walking the streets of Pittsburgh. Uh, UPMC has been a phenomenal place with caring, compassionate people, everybody from the nurses, the custodians, to the guys and gals that work in Starbucks, to our head surgeon, to Dr. Freelander, really care about what they're doing. This man saved my life and I'll never forget it.